G'day, welcome to Matt's Workshop. Today I'm going to go through just showing how I changed over this uh, controller in my um, uh, red and black Chinese laser. Uh, removing the Top Wisdom controller and installing this uh, new RDC controller. Um, so I just uh, um, installed that and had some help from a, uh, a fellow laser user, uh, Bill who gave me some uh, good help over the phone and uh, by chat, so thank you Bill. And anyway, this is um, just a quick overview on how I uh, changed this over. The benefit of using this controller is that uh, it's uh, designed to work with RD Works and also works extremely well with uh, Lightburn software. So um, as soon as I installed it, uh, Lightburn talked to it straight away. I'm still having a few issues, believe it or not, with the RD Works, but I will somehow make it work. Um, but uh, I use Lightburn predominantly for all my laser work, so um, it makes it extremely easy to use now that I've got this new controller in there, rather than playing around with the Top Wisdom one. So this is my current configuration, the uh, X and Y axis drivers, the uh, TL410C mainboard, all labelled there with the wires, uh, on the board itself but not on the wires, and uh, the controller panel sits up top, I've already loosened that, so it's uh, ready to come out. This cable, you won't need that, you'll need to pull that all the way through. And now to open up my new controller, so I ordered the RDC 6445G uh, just the standard unit, purchased it on uh, AliExpress and the postage and shipping was extremely quick. Very uh, happy with the, uh, the service from Cloudray. Now that we've got the controller unpackaged, I've printed out a copy of the old and new controller's wiring diagrams to compare and confirm the wiring configurations. I numbered them just to make it easy for when I um, swapped them over, just to make sure I had everything right. Then I printed out a copy of the old wiring diagram so that uh, I could use them as labels to label the wires. I just used sticky tape and uh, labeled all the wires uh, so that when I removed the connectors later on, I knew which ones were which. So um, when we transfer over to the RD controller, uh, some of the um, connectors are in different wiring configurations so having them labelled is a good thing to do. Now with all the wires labelled it's time to remove the old controller and I'll be happy to see that thing go. So just uh, disconnect the uh, plugs. Some of the wiring configurations on the plugs are the same um, but some will need to be changed around. So just um, use the uh, wiring diagram from the RD controller that you printed out earlier and uh, make sure that you get them all in the right place and um, yeah, everything should go nice and smooth. So now that the new controller is all in, all the wires have been checked, uh, this is the uh, control panel all connected up. You'll notice that it hangs over by about 6mm, had to cut 3mm out of the uh, hole. Uh, but turning the machine on, everything's in Chinese. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to change it to English. Uh, so yeah, pretty easy, um, starting with uh, the menu button. So um, the um, selection button, you've got the up and down arrows and enter to select. So uh, we'll go through that now. So we start by uh, pressing menu, uh, going down to the uh, fourth option down on the left hand side and pressing enter and then pressing uh, enter on the first selection. and then going down to the third option, English, and pressing enter. Now things are a lot more easy to read and understand. Yep, 
Now this is where I ran into a bit of trouble and needed to contact uh, a user that ha already has this controller from Cloudray, the RDC6445. Uh, I gave him a call and he helped me uh, very nicely. Thank you, Bill. And uh, I'm just going to go through just showing some of the manufacturing settings. Um, not going to go into explanation and uh, list them all. You can always pause the video and have a look at the uh, settings. Uh, they may match up to your machine. I'm using the red and black Chinese laser, also known as an X700. My machine is um, 80 watt. The password is RD8888. So these are the settings that I have for the X coordinates. Make sure that if you change any settings that you go across and write those to the board before going down and selecting the next options. The Y settings. I haven't set the Z settings up because I don't uh, use those uh, and I'm not using a rotary. So I've set it to one laser glass tube. Uh, the machine configuration. And the lamp configuration. Just make sure again if you do change any of those settings write them to the, uh, the board before continuing. Origin set. You can have um, multiple origins. If I found that if I turned all of them off, I can manually set the origin using the origin button on the controller. The controller settings, obviously we went in there before, is language. And obviously the third option there was English. Uh, the uh, next settings that we'll look at are the user settings. So, sorry about the wobbly camera, but trying to do this single-handed. Just some of the settings under user settings. I'll just quickly sweep through those. Again, if you need to have a look at this again later, you can always pause the video and check the settings that I'm currently using. I don't have autofocus on my machine. I've got my work speed set there for Z and U. I'm not using rotation at the moment. And I've got bi-directional array. So next we'll go have a look at the uh, option function plus. I'm not going to go into all these settings, um, but we just go through them. You've got access, reset, keyboard lock, manual set, laser set, and diagnosis. Under the um, Diagnosis tab, um, you have uh, different settings for um, uh, alerts and alarms, water protection alarms you can turn on and off. Currently I don't have a uh, water protection um, sensor on my machine, but something I'll be installing. So I'm not going to go into all of these settings, I think I've shown you the um, ones that uh, got me going but um, if we have a look in uh, controller setting and, and uh, origin set so you can go to screen origin set and set it to top left now uh, that's how I use my machine but others can you can have your origin top right all that sort of etc uh, so yeah that's um, pretty much it uh, you've got some system info on how long your machine's been running all that sort of stuff and uh, the main board versions of course so because my controller didn't fit widthwise over the uh, machine, I've decided to uh, make this little um, uh, console that's going to be attached to the top of the machine, just using 3mm black acrylic, cutting that out, um, and um, making a housing unit for the controller, an amp meter, and a uh, temperature gauge. So to put these two products together, I'm using this product called Cygrip. Um, it's an acrylic adhesive, and um, because uh, one of the sides is 6 millimeters and the other side's 3 millimeters, I cut two pieces at a 3 mil. And I'm just using this uh, Cygrip to weld those two together for that side. It sets extremely quickly, so you do need to be quick. Hold them together firmly, 
and it will weld together. After covering the internals of the machine with rags, I drilled and screwed the new console onto the machine and uh, installed the controller, temperature gauge and amp meter. So what I'll be doing in a future video is showing how to connect up the amp meter to uh, the, um, the tube so that we get the reading. At the moment it's just sitting there ready to go. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for a new video coming soon. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. This has been a good little project for me because it's um, streamlined the way I work with Lightburn and my laser machine. It saves so much time rather than exporting and importing um, into different programs like AutoLaser and Corel. Now I can just design directly from Lightburn, send it straight to my laser and it just works a dream. So thanks for sticking around. If you haven't already, like the video. Uh, subscribe and stay updated for new videos as I um, release them by putting the bell on, the notification bell. You'll find that uh, just next to the subscribe button. And until next time, take care. Cheers.